Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I am doing your October 31st, 2018 daily love reading. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. My favorite holiday of all time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this will not resonate with everybody, so check out all your signs. And as always, this is for entertainment purposes only. All right, your guys' first card out is the High Priestess. Um, the second card is the World. Then the Seven of Cups. So um, you are getting ready to complete a a chapter in your life. Whoa. Okay. The two of swords is for your partner, the empress, and the page of wands. Here, let me tip you down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. For the outcome, you have the ten of swords. The Eight of Swords and the Lovers. Your overarching energy oh, is the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by Temperance, and the Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Chariot. So something is progressing um, in a very quick manner, and it's only gaining speed. But uh, you guys are following your intuition. You guys are very in tune right now to your spiritual side. Um, you could be actively trying to manifest something or someone into your life. Um, you're coming out of a difficult time, however. Um, your art, overarching energy, the Queen of Pentacles, dealing with a um, earth sign, Um and you're trying to find balance after walking away. You gave up. You left. Um, you were tired. You could no longer handle um, this relationship. Um, you may, could have possibly done it in secret as well. But you're allowing this relationship to end. Um, you are moving forward. You're not sure what's out there for you yet. But you just know that you can't, um, you can't take it anymore. You're just so worn out. You are dealing with a soulmate energy. Um... And that is why this is so confusing as well. Your person, um, they have, they have been kind of turning their their eye to the obvious. They they do have a decision to make. Um, they want to create something um, new with you, something beautiful with you. They're just acting very immature. Let's get one for this high priestess here. strength. So yeah, you are finding the courage to move forward. Um, some of you are finding the courage to um, explore your spirituality. Why is the world card here? Yeah. So um, you're following your heart. You, you're you ending a cycle with um, somebody that you truly love. Um, this is a soulmate. Ending a cycle doesn't necessarily mean ending a relationship. You guys could be going back through another cycle if all your lessons weren't learned um, the first time around. And this is most definitely a soulmate that you're dealing with. Yeah, and then there's the Emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, they have a decision to make, but we have the Emperor and the Empress right here next to each other. So most definitely um, soulmate, twin flame energy, or a life partner. This is somebody that you will spend the rest of your life with. Um, but there is a need for a lot of healing. You guys could have came back together um, after a separation and you both weren't quite ready. Um, so one of you is walking away. You can't, you can't take the, you just can't take it anymore. You're exhausted. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, they broke your heart in the past. So they possibly could have um, left you and there was a, uh, and they came back and you guys just aren't quite healed yet. So there is going to be some bumps in the road here, but you have ended the separation cycle. You are now starting a new cycle with this person. Why is a page of wands here? Yeah, the devil. There is some toxic energy here. They're very immature. They could be saying things to you 
um, that are just rude. Um, yeah. But there is some, they do need to deal with some things before um, this is going to come out uh, where you guys can be together like full time. There was a lot of heartache in the past. There was a lot of hurt. You feel you were feeling betrayed. You felt like you couldn't move on from this person with the eight of swords because you, you love them. You felt like this is your soulmate. This is meant to be. Um, let's get one for the 10 of swords, the ace of swords. So they're coming back to tell you the truth about why they betrayed you or, or what happened that caused you to feel betrayed. They're going to come back and explain themselves. They are going to tell you the truth and it is going to allow you, whoa, it is going to allow um, you to be able to move forward and to heal from that pain with the temperance energy over here. Let's get one for the eight of swords. Why you, why are you air signs feeling trapped? Four of swords. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, there needs to be a lot of healing. Um, this is a time of healing. Um, wow. And then the lever, the four of wands just came out for that. So most definitely, this is a twin flame soulmate life partner situation. Um, you guys, they're coming back to tell you the truth, to um, let you know what happened. But as your overarching energy was here, um, you you need to heal from this. You haven't healed yet because you didn't have answers. Well, now you have the answers and it's time for you to heal and to find some balance back in your life because this person is going to be who you spend the rest of your life with. This most definitely is, like I said, a life partner, a soulmate, or a twin flame. It is destined from the universe that this relationship lasts forever. Can I get one card of advice for our air signs for October 31st? Okay, sorry about that. My computer froze, so I hope this picks up. Um, the card that flew out for you guys was the um, Queen of the Light. It's Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration. So um, what this card says is the Queen of Light is a, is a beautiful ally and comes into your life to herald success in all your ventures. She illuminates the most important step of your path and reminds you of your own brilliance. You're intelligent and inspired and all your needs will be met. Remember that you're an instrument of the divine shining through in this world. You're on the correct path for your greatest good. The queen also brings you insight into how you manifest your reality in the most miraculous ways. She promises you that you'll be shown the next right action and celebrates you as you stand brilliant, joyful, and enlightened in the present time. You can be proud to stand tall in your conviction and that your conviction that in your heart of hearts, you know, the truth of your situation rewards for your perseverance and willingness to learn along the way are much, are guaranteed to come to you. Gratitude and acceptance are the key today. So that's all I have for you guys, air signs. I hope you have a very happy Halloween and I will see you next time. God bless.